welcome back guys we're gonna go ahead and open our base map and if you haven't created one you can go ahead and click on new and then go ahead and create one the previous video shows you how to set up the base map and we're gonna load the data log to data log load if you don't have your graph click on graph and it will show up click subscribe below to support us so now we're going to go through the log and watch the air fuel versus rpm As you can see we're cruising here at 2300 rpm in first gear at 11.93 afr and that can definitely get leaned out a little bit and there's one or two ways we can do this we can just highlight these two columns here and then subtract we can press ctrl j and we can minus a percentage whatever the percent might be so 11.93 um probably go minus three percent or we can grab the entire column since we already did those we can just minus three from here and do the same thing minus three now as we go along through the graph we'll see where else that we need to make any adjustment we're at 2600 rpm and air fuels 12.9713 because we're in first gear that's okay for me and I'm gonna just let that ride out for now and as we keep going 13.9, 13.7, 13.8 um, keep note of where our map percentage is and where we are on the actual map itself using the map really helps to have an understanding of where we are on map and give two points a location so we're gonna keep going here and as you notice, TPS is 31%, so throttle is increasing. We're still in first gear. Haven't changed from first gear. And looking at the lines themselves, the lines look pretty good. Um, this TPS here is a little sporadic, but you can tell all these up and downs on the TPS are showing that there's an issue with voltage. have a couple ignition drops here that's definitely signs of a faulty distributor to say the least could be um, just the cam sensor pick up inside of the distributor is dirty as well it's all good things to take a look at so as we're going into it here notice that the map switches at one point map switches and then this vts turns red that means vtech is activated so now the map switch for us already the map switch on its own while we're going through the log because that's how it's set up in the settings at 5500 rpm getting three pound of boost at 66 percent tps and the air fuel is 11.45 that's okay to me could definitely be a little bit leaner half a point leaner at this boost duty but as it's in, only in first gear i'm not too pressed on what the exact value is it's higher than 11 lower than 12.5 it's pretty good to me if we go along air fuel is still 11.45 pretty much all the way through so at 8400 we're at nine pounds almost 10 psi air fuel is 11.61 battery voltage is good 13.7 intake air temp 117 degrees and one thing you'll notice on this 
car is the PWM value has gone up. Is when the PWM came on, the blue solenoid activated. And you'll see we get seven pounds, seven pounds, 10 pounds at 8,000 RPM. Check engine light came on to shift. We're moving along in the log. You see here, we're in second gear. 91% on the TPS, 11 PSI, air fuel is 11.33, still within the reasonable AFRs. If you notice, I don't really pay attention to ignition timing here. This car was already dyno tuned, so we went on the dyno, we maxed out timing to where the car won't make any more power. And then what I like to do is back it down half a degree to a degree just for inconsistency. The little TPS value will indicate that light, light throttle and also where it is on the map will indicate light, light throttle. So here on the data log, we have a first, second, And third, looking at our values, kind of coasting along here, you see the TPS value, VSS, which is speed sensor, map sensor value, and RPM here. And we have ignition timing, injector duty cycle, and injector milliseconds. So as we keep going, we're watching, we're looking at our AFRs, and we're at 100% TPS. The pedal is 100% to the floor. It reads 91, and this this has an issue with the TPS reading correctly. It's sporadic, like I told you, it, it reads all over the place, so this is a bad TPS. But ideally, you want it to read 90 to 100% when your foot is all the way down on the gas pedal. So as we go along here, we're at 12 -0. 11.41 at 10 pounds. Eleven four five. We just check the graph here to see. Check and see where it is. So 11.9 PSI is in between 8.1 PSI and 11.1 PSI. So it'll be the correlation between those two. So if I wanted to lean it out, this half a point would go and press control J and I would minus, I wouldn't even minus a percentage. I would probably minus two values from this overall value here and then I would retest. So as we're going through the log, we're looking at it, looking at it. 11 pounds, 11.01. .01. Still in the same spot here where we just subtracted fuel from, which is which is pretty good. Showing that it's really consistent in between the pulls. 10, 1, 10.8. Grab this entire thing here. And we're gonna control J. And minus four values. Continue looking at the log. We're in third gear. Let's go back to our graph. Check everything out. The end of the RPM. 8100, 11.33 AFR, battery voltage looks good, intake air temp looks good. Map sensor is reading 11 pounds. Everything looks really, really good. I'm looking here and there's some wheel spin here from the second to third gear shift. You can see from 40 miles an hour up to 52 back down to 47 definitely some spin in between the shift
Here's the decal. Decal can definitely use some work. 16, 16, 16, 15. Okay. So 4,000 RPM above <clears throat> at minus 25 PSI. We're going to go ahead and add 5%. And then we're gonna go ahead and recheck. We're gonna save the changes, do another data log, and come back and re-verify the changes that we made. 